Hey everyone, it's Marianne, and this week we are talking about what's been the hardest part for us. Uh, definitely the hardest part for me was pre-T. Um, I agree with Naya, and in that I think I created a lot of my own fears. Um, you know, I was scared that I wouldn't recognize who Aiden was anymore. Um, I remember I would just look at him and start crying because I thought I was never going to see that face again. You know, and I was sad to lose his high-pitched squeal when we would play fight that he had. You know, I was just, I was terrified that I was going to lose the guy that I fell in love with. You know, I already saw Aiden as male. I thought he acted, sounded, and looked male. So the fact that was going to change scared me. Um, Aiden used to show me YouTube videos of guys pre T and then right after show me a year later. And, like, yes, it was helpful to see those changes, but at the same time, it kind of added to the scariness. Like, I knew there was a year gap in between, but it almost tricked my subconscious or whatever into thinking that it would happen overnight. And, like, even though I knew it wouldn't, that thought was still kind of there. Um, now Aiden is almost nine months on T, and... If I knew what I knew now, those pre t months would have been nothing. Um, you know, I could have saved myself a lot of stress and worrying, but like, you know, it's totally okay to have those feelings, for sure. Um, don't get me wrong, but, you know, a lot of the fear, fear that I created for myself wouldn't have happened. Um, you know, I don't even remember what his voice used to sound like. Um, he still has his cute little scream when we play fight. Uh, sounds different for sure, but I don't miss the old one. Uh, Aiden's face has changed, um, but it didn't happen overnight. And it's hard to explain, like, he still looks like Aiden, just slightly different. And, but, you know, I, I didn't notice the changes that was happening. Um, you know, I see it when I look at old photos, um, but, you know, I, I don't miss his old self. He's still the Aiden that I fell in love with. Um, I guess the only thing that's hard right now is Aiden's patient, patience level is definitely lower and uh, he's a bit more short with me. You know, what used to be a 30-minute conversation about whatever um, is now 30 seconds and to the point. Um, I get taken back a little just because I'm not used to him being that way and sometimes it does hurt my feelings when it does happen. Um, but that just kind of causes him to be frustrated with me because he's already short with me and then we either end up being mad at each other or having that 30 minute conversation that he didn't want to have in the first place. So we just kind of need to figure out a better way to communicate um, when that happens so that neither of us get upset. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It was mostly just all pre-T that was the hardest for me. Um, I never had to go through that identifying lesbian just because I have never identified as being a lesbian and I've only been with um, bio guys so I didn't have any of that stuff to worry about I guess um, so that wasn't that change wasn't hard for me um, yeah I don't know mostly just pre, pre tea was scary um, yeah that's all I have to say. Um, any questions, comments, post below. You know where to find FTM Sweethearts. I'll post links below anyways, just in case you don't. Um, yeah, hope everyone is having a great week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.